Hello everybody and welcome to Animal Crossing. Um, this is my first video, so I hope you guys like it. Please like and subscribe. This is just an all new channel to me. Um, well, today I wasn't going to record Animal Crossing, to be honest, that was my first video. However, uh, I did a Nook Miles Island and what do you know, I got the rare Tarantula Island. So I decided to hook up my mic, hook up my game capture, and going to show you guys um, the Tarantula Island. Uh, so this is actually really cool. So they have a little like moat or river that goes all around this little patch of land. And the second you hop over it, say hello, you're going to see a lot of tarantulas. Um, you're going to get bit. <laughs> Uh, you can't get frustrating, but you know what? I'm actually really happy because I've never landed on this island. So I think this is going to be really fun. Um, I end up just dropping all my belongings. Like, you know what? I want to be able to buy more, and especially with all the bells, I want to get just from all these tarantulas. So uh, let's get to farming. Like just off the bat, we got four right there. And no matter what you do, um, Try to isolate them when you're on this island, and that's all you really can do, because, well, if you get two in a row or two next to them and they start like spraying their legs at you, you're going to get bit. Just like that, watch. No matter what I do, if I catch one of them, the other one's going to bite and it's going to jump at me. Easy. Got one, and there we go. There you can see the second one is right behind me. So the one thing I really like about uh, Animal Crossing is like when you get bit by a tarantula, it won't take you back to your home island. It will just take you back to um, this little dodo dude, and you can just go back into farming more tarantulas. And that's what's really cool about this. So let's see how many we got here. Seems like I'm definitely going to try filling up my inventory. Um, I'm not getting rid of these tools just for the fact that um, I just bought some. And I just unlocked like the colorful ones or the, the outdoorsy kind of um, shovel and, and uh, the net, as you can see. Um, I might get rid of the shovel and I might get rid of the uh, fishing rod just because the tarantula is worth more. <laughs> like these are about 2,500 bells. That's about $2,500 bells. And the tarantulas are like 8,000. Now I can wait and I can hold on to them until Flick comes, which I might just do. Um, I just saw Austin John plays and how much he got just for one full inventory through Flick is like 480,000 bells. So I think I might just do that. So let's go ahead and start farming more. I was able to get one single one right over here. Got him. Now remember, this is my first gaming video. Um, I hope to one day make a Twitch account. I hope to uh, kind of grow this channel, see where it can go, um, especially since we're in quarantine right now. Um, I live in California where I have to stay at home orders. So I hope everyone's staying safe out there. Wash your hands. Uh, that's all I can say right now. Got him on the run. So once we get done farming all these tarantulas, um, we're going to go to my uh, back to the island. Uh, I'm going to show you guys around my island what I got so far. And if you guys have any suggestions, please leave a comment below. Uh, again, remember this is my first video. Um, I really have a very rudimentary setup um, once I get this channel going and once I 
get this going a little bit better, um, I will definitely get my hands on some better equipment. Um, I just got like an eBay capture card and um, a twenty dollar mic and no stand and see what's going on and let's go for it. Again, on the run. I don't know what's so satisfying about it is like when you get one on while it's running at you, it just feels so much better. Not that time. So it looks like I got room for about five more. Um, I want to try to get five to about seven more. We'll see what happens. Uh, it just really depends on how often I get bit. Just like that. Not gonna lie, it does get a little frustrating after a while. Oh my god, I didn't see that one coming from behind. And again, we get bit. So I'm selling them all, um, and I'll talk to you right now about the Nook's Cranny once I get done with this and kind of explain why is it already upgraded when it hasn't even been 30 days since the game has been out. Um, 192,000 bells? I'll definitely take that. So let me explain. So the reason why the Nook's Cranny for me is up, already upgraded, and I know some of you guys already have upgraded yours, is um, I did a time skip. Uh, I wanted to see something because um, Sheldon's birthday was on February 26th, and I went back in time just to see what would happen um, because he was one of my original villagers. And um, if you know, don't know by now, your original villagers won't upgrade the inside of their house. It's just really basic. They have like a sleeping bag on the floor, um, and what I saw was on my girlfriend's um, village, she, one of her original people had a birthday and when after the birthday was done, her inside of her, that person's house was normal. And it wasn't like dirt floor and a sleeping bag. So I thought the same would happen for me. So I did a time skip and when I got back to the, back to the original time, it said, hey, your Nook's Cranny is getting upgraded. So, if you guys have an issue with that, I'm sorry. Um, I had no idea that that was going to happen. So, here we are. This is my house. Um, I'll show you the inside of it later. However, we're just going to do a little bit of a tour of the island uh, and see what's going on and 
to see where things can improve and what my plans are for this island. So here's my first bridge, obviously. Uh, this is something I'm kind of working on. It's kind of like a uh, cafeteria. Um, <laughs> I call it Papa John's. <laughs> and the reason why is because my name is John and this is a pizzeria and we just came up and me and my buddies were like, oh, hey, it's Papa John's. So this is kind of a work in progress. I kind of stopped working on it because I'm working on something else right now. So yeah, um, here we got one of our houses. This belongs to Bianca. And then, oh, and there is Nate. Let's talk to Nate. And there we go. Um, looks like well, we might have some shooting stars tonight, maybe. Let's uh, we'll we'll look at that later. So let's go look at the other rest of the houses. Oh, so there's uh, I think it's Fushima. Is that how you pronounce it? And, uh, we got our town center, and then down here we have all of our houses. Oh, and before I forget, so this is like a little meditation area that I made. Um, got a little stone here. Got a pond. Got some flowers. Bamboo. It's just a nice, small, like relaxing area. Um, right below it, I got Sheldon's house, and then we have Sky's house. Got a couple scooters. Um, this belongs to Ketchup. I absolutely love Ketchup. She's a, like a little red penguin duck thing, and she is awesome, full of energy. And then here, um, I believe this is Fushima's house. And then we have Jacques. Oh, and there's Bianca. And Sky is right over here. And this belongs to June, and her house inside her house is like amazing. Uh, let's go in and say hi. I absolutely love her house. It's got sand, it's got shells, it's got a dang fountain inside. Um, got shell bed, and she's like the cutest little bear. Alright, well, let's get on with the tour. So, next to my house, I have like this little flower bed and I got my mixture of trees. And so I believe I got two peach trees, a few orange trees, a pear tree, and a couple apple trees, and that is a new apple tree. Um, I'm going to be thinking about moving all my trees to another area so they're all together and they're organized. Um, I thought about doing that today. I might just do that tomorrow and just make a whole new video out of that. Um, so up here, we got the Able Sister Shop. Uh, it was originally by Papa John's, but I decided to move it here just because the museum is up that little ramp you see. Um, right next to it, this is my kind of my, my little area for money trees right now. I got two going for right now. Um, and here's the museum, and I'm trying to make this like area like really nice. Like kind of like, my inspiration behind this is kind of usually what other museums that I've seen, they always have like this outdoor seating area, they usually have like, a snack bar. Um, to me, I live about an hour and a half away from Long Beach, and for some reason, the Aquarium of the Pacific really jumped out at me, like how they have their whole front um, area where they have like a nice seating area. Um, they have all the restaurants by, right um, up the street. So I decided to kind of replicate that in my own way. So I got a little drink machine right here, uh, and I got a little stand with some ratatouille and a coconut drink. I've got a couple of chairs, got my fountain, and a lot of eating places to go. Um, right now I have this all roped off, just because I don't want my villagers kind of going all the way up here, because um, soon I am going to move my campsite up to this little ledge over here, and I think that will really <clears throat> set, the, set everything off. Oh, I'm going to have a seat. So, so far not so much. Um, right now, I believe I'm only at a two-star island, and that's completely okay. Um, just, I've never played a Animal Crossing game in my life. This is my first one. Um, I just heard a bunch of buzz about it, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to go on ahead and I want to buy it. Uh, and at first, I'll be completely honest with you, I didn't know if I liked it. And that was because it was so slow in the beginning for me. And now I play it all the all the time. The second I get off of work, uh, I am playing it. Um, so I decided, why not record it? 
All right, guys, so this concludes everything for my first video. Thank you for the tour. And we got Tarantula Island, and that is so cool, like, because that is a very rare island out here um, for the Nook Miles program. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please keep you PG. And remember, guys, please wash your hands. Uh, <laughs> during this pandemic, we all need to stay safe for not only for ourselves and our family, but for the others around us. So with that said, um, Curb Street Gaming is out. I will see you next time.